coach and an NLP master, and so I do a lot of work with clients to upgrade their life mentally and emotionally. Um, and Dan's a self-esteem advocate and a poet and nature photographer, and we do workshops together. And so we've done a lot in our lives around mental and emotional upgrades. And we found that that kind of only took us so far. Like it made great leaps, but oh my gosh, as soon as we put the raw foods and the superfoods with it, it was quantum, huge, like more than quantum leaps. It was just amazing. And so that was one of the reasons we said this needs to be part of what we offer to people because it really is a balanced package. That um, And that, that was actually something that Courtney had said in our talk that made a lot of sense to me, that you can do stuff to upgrade your life mentally and emotionally, but if you're still eating junk food, that's going to kind of weigh you down a little and maybe hold you back. And you could do things to upgrade your health, nutritionally or exercise or any of that, but if you're not taking care of the mental and emotional stuff that's coming up, which often comes up to be processed, mm -hmm. then that's when you start to have the Oh, I'm having a bad day, I want the macaroni and cheese. And then you go back to the poor standard American eating habits. So we really like combining both together and, and having both tools in our toolkit to address our own lives and then to offer to people as they're saying, like, this is what's going on to me. It's like, well, here's the mental emotional route, here's the physical route, and maybe you want to do a little bit of both or whatever it calls. And, and that's why we're here. So um, that's why we do this once a month uh, is I, I, I love, I lose track of time when I'm in the kitchen and cooking. Um, I love to play with recipes I find. I love to transform them and add more superfoods and make it even easier. Um, my, my rule of um, or thumb and fingers uh, is it has to be easy. I will not do it if it isn't like pretty quick and easy. Now I, I have a Vitamix and I have a food processor and I have a dehydrator, but I started just with the Vitamix. And so I, it has to be easy. Um, <laughs> My second rule is it has to taste really good to me. Um, so I will never serve anything in here that I haven't tried once and that has passed my taste test. Um, yeah. Although tonight is the first night I'm actually experimenting a little bit with the brownies because I, I transformed it as I went. Um, but I think it came out good. You can't go too wrong with brownies. Well, that's my same rule right. too. Because it has to be easy and taste decadent yeah. or I'm, uninterested. Yeah. I'm only interested in yeah. easy and decadent. And then the third thing I look for that isn't always there is um, if it can store for a while. Because I used to be in corporate America, and I had a two-hour commute one way to work, and and had coffee and processed foods, and like lived on things that were short and microwaved. And so I understand that when you're adding raw foods in and superfoods in, you could be in that situation. And that's my biggest complaint that I've ever had about raw foods is so often these raw food recipe books, I'm like, oh my gosh, they made that so difficult. And it could be so easy. Mm -hmm. um, so I look for things like a lot of Yamaya's recipes are actually really great because they make a big, huge batch really quickly and easily. And some of them you can actually freeze. And it comes out just great. Like the Taco Eat is one of our favorites. We love tacos. and. We, now we do a com combination of raw and cooked, so we like cook a tortilla shell um, because that still tastes good to us, and then we do the raw taco eat on top, um, and we do Frank's hot sauce because we love Frank's hot sauce, and we always have Ooh. digestive enzymes with it to balance the Frank's hot sauce. <laughs> I'll add something to you guys. To oh yeah. I'll give you guys props. So I mean, you guys look completely different than when I met you because your bodies were very, you had some, a lot of systemic inflammation, just mm -hmm. all over, I mean. Your, it wasn't just weight, it was No, it like wasn't just weight, it was uh, inflammation, and your, yeah. especially, well, both of you guys' faces were really yeah. inflamed. And now, I mean, you, your guys' faces are really chiseled. I mean, you look pretty darn handsome. Right? <laughs> it does. <laughs> and you look, you're hot. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. So, I mean, you guys look completely completely different and yeah. your eyes one of the biggest things I notice is that your eyes are just like vivid bright full on yeah. and when I met you before it was kind of like uh, trying to get through the fog yeah, mm. yeah. 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 so props to you guys you guys Thanks. have done um, congrats thank you